Hi folks, this is Steve. I am the builder on the homes at Timber Green, and I'm gonna take you on a really quick tour of our new uh, model, the Evergreen. This is a maintenance-free 2,720 square foot ranch, three bedroom, I'm sorry, four bedroom, three and a half baths with a full finished walkout lower level. This is the model. I also have two uh, other evergreens that we are working on in Timber Green. There's one right there. Uh, that one is available also. It'll be done shortly. We are just wrapping it up. And then I have another evergreen right down there at the other end of the sub. Okay, so let me tell you about this house. Uh, first of all, the exterior. Mostly all brick and stone in the front with Hardy on that second gable up high there. That is an Owens Corning Premium shingle up there that gives you a lifetime warranty. Everything, what we tried to do here is make everything on the exterior as maintenance free as possible and we have done that with the brick, the hardy, the vinyl, the ellipticals uh, are um, all maintenance free materials over there in the stone of course. Uh, there is a three car side loaded garage with this house and um, we have done it with all custom insulated and color keyed premium clo play doors with the windows above. Uh, so I'll take you in and get you around this house real quick. Uh, the garages are all finished like this one. Uh, we we use uh, Sherwin-Williams uh, paint with uh, window casing and trim around all the windows. These are Windsor windows and while I'm in here I'm going to show you the Windsor window cutaway profile. This is a fabulous window. It's all aluminum extruded, powder coated, wood interior case, uh, low E glass, Fabulous quality window, very, very hard to beat it. It's just right up there with Marvin and Pella. This is a full-size sample I have for you to look at when you come and look at the house. These are just some color samples of the granites, the stone and the shingles that we're using. You can take a look at that stuff. That's our backsplash material right there. And this is our hardwood floor selection group right here and our carpet. So we'll show you all of that when you come in. Okay, so let's get in the house. Again, just a quick uh, three car. We do insulate. This is a two by six framed house with a uh, high level of insulation. The doors are insulated. Everything comes with LiftMaster operators. This garage is oversized. It's 24 feet by 36 feet. Here we go. Uh, the entry has hardwood floors. These are three quarter inch oak. Uh, this is called a carbon brushed and scraped finish. This is a Viking floor. Uh, when you come in on your left, you got your half bath immediately with a granite top. These are Marillot cabinets. Uh, your oil rub bronze fixtures are throughout the house. We matched it to oil rub bronze with alabaster shades and all the electrical. Uh, and the tile, of course, put a tile floor in here. On your right, as soon as you come in from the garage, you have your laundry. Our laundries, we make a little bigger than a normal laundry. It's a laundry and a mudroom together. You have a countertop here, a uh, workstation. You have an overmount jumbo laundry sink. Then the washer and dryer goes here, it's plumb for gas. Cabinets all above with crown. Then on the opposite side of that, we have a double closet here with hanging in it. That'll give you an idea how big the closet's about uh, oh, seven feet wide, seven to seven and a half feet wide. Shelf up there and a hanging there. These are arch top solid core doors throughout the house also, by the way. Then we have this bench where you can sit down, take your shoes off underneath, Hang your coat up on one of the hooks. There's beadboard back there. And then we have an 80 inch locker next to that where you can put mops, brooms and stuff. Then next to that there's a folding table and some additional cabinets with a cutout so you can put a chair there if you wanted to use it for a little workstation. And there's a window in this room to bring natural light in. So there's your laundry. Uh, again with the uh, same tile floors and the half bath. Okay, so I'll take you right into the kitchen. Uh, around the corner here in the kitchen we do have a full walk-in pantry. And so the groceries are a short hop from the garage right here to the pantry. Uh, this is a, um, oh, one, two, three, four, five shelves high, 16 inch spacing. And you have two um, walls of shelves in the walk in pantry right there. Uh, in the kitchen itself, this is all done with. Um, a gray granite. We do use a matching tile backsplash in here. These are Marillot 100 cabinets. Crown molding above the cabinet line and then crown up on the ceiling. We use recess can, recess can lighting throughout the house. There are 55 cans in this house. 
and most of it is on dimmers. There's two pendant lights here with brushed nickel, large center island, two bar stools here and a third on the end. You can fit two to four people here. Uh, we include the appliances with the homes, all stainless steel, frigid air, high-end stuff. Uh, over here is your uh, microwave, convection microwave, followed by your full-size oven, followed by a warming drawer down here on the lower end of it. That's all standard. Then uh, to the left of the fridge, you have a, um, <clears throat> your five-burner Whirlpool gas cooktop. And above that, there is a uh, pot filler right here for filling up your pasta dishes and your soups and your stews. There is a built-in hood in that, cased in the Marillot cabinetry above, right there. Uh, we did put under cabinet lighting in here, it's all LED. And then you have a double stainless uh, undermount sink with Moen uh, fixtures. These are all our bronze, we use Moen in mainly all of our plumbing. This is a casement window, crank out above that. Then we have a valence and the rest of the countertop with a quiet uh, dishwasher. This is your fidget air gallery. It's a very quiet, low dB dishwasher. Uh, the, uh, uh, the cabinetry style that you're seeing is called a classic Seneca Ridge Square. It's Maple Kona. The island is also Marillac Classic, uh, the Seneca Ridge Square, and that is called Cotton on there. And we used all um, brushed nickel fixtures on the kitchen hardware. Uh, in the center of the dining room, we have the alabaster shades, a five-piece fixture right there. And then over on the other side is a kind of a butler's wine bar type, type arrangement. You have uh, upper and lower cabinets. You have your countertop backsplash. There's a wine chiller here in the middle with cabinets on either side of it right there. And we step the cabinets to give it a little extra pizzazz. Off of the dining room and the kitchen is this French door, which opens up into a 16 by 20 foot covered lanai area, covered deck area. Uh, this is really nice for three season use. There's a fan up here. We put four recessed can lights in it And you can put a little patio set out here with four or six chairs Off the overhang we've cantilevered out the deck So you have some Sun areas if you want to put a chaise lounge out here You can sit out in the Sun and also it's plumb for gas so you can put your grill there and run your gas grill without having to chase propane bottles around This is a good chance to show you the back of the house trim again. This is all hardy plank 25 years without painting it. Very nicely done. Uh, we have vinyl on the soffits and we've wrapped all of the trim in aluminum so there's absolutely no painting needed anywhere on this exterior. So we've truly tried to make it as maintenance free as possible. Okay, we'll run back in. I'll show you the family room. Uh, we vaulted up the ceiling in here. This family room is, um, oh gosh, it's about 25 or 28 by about 23 or 24. And the ceilings are vaulted up. We do a color keyed fan in the center ceiling fan that's matched to the uh, oak mantle and to the railings right over there on the other side. That's our staircase railing that's all matched. All of this, by the way, is matched to the Kona cabinets in the uh, kitchen. Uh, there's a fireplace here with a cultured stone facade. This is a 42 inch premium heatilator, which comes with all of our uh, homes. Um, the oak mantle up there, and then we wire it for cable so you can put a 60 inch flat screen up above that. Also, you can pull the cable down here and you can put a game controller box or other types of uh, electronic additions there. Uh, windows again, all Windsor windows, these are double hung. Uh, this is one of the finest windows on the market. Uh, I can't say enough about them. Absolutely zero problems with these windows and the most high efficiency ratings in the business. So there's your uh, family room. Um, I'll take you over here to the front door, and this is coming in the house, so we'll kind of go out and come back in just to give you an idea how this looks from the outside. The front porch on this house has a large usable deck space. This is about 7 feet wide by about uh, 18 or 20 feet long that way. We do put recessed uh, can lights up above here, and there are two of them along with all of this cultured stone that we use, and then of course all the window casings are color keyed to match the theme of the house. The door is a Thermatrue. We use uh, leaded glass side lights and a leaded glass center half bay. Very nice door, very high quality door. So coming in the front door you have this foyer. Uh, we did run hardwood throughout this whole uh, first floor. And to the right is your office or your den. This does have French doors. We do a chair rail and a, and a shadow box as standard and then all this crown up here on the ceiling is also standard. 
this is this room is about 14 by 15 looks out over the front yard area right there it is wired with uh, two plugs on each wall plus cable and phone pre-wired in there for you okay so let's get in the, in the bedrooms we arch up the uh, many of the openings and we do some custom casing around the arches that's all standard also also all your crown molding details are all standard as well as all of this detail on the oak staircase with the hammered pewter balusters that's all standard also uh, coat closet right here on my left this um, is a large coat closet for your guests you have your um, hallway again hardwood down the hall first floor thermostats right here master here on the right master is uh, done with a um, alpaca paint on the walls which is a uh, which is a gray it's a vaulted ceiling there are four can lights up here and a large ceiling fan again color keyed to match the rest of the trim in the house to supply heats in here this room is about 16 by 18 the cable is over there so that the bed would be situated over here you have your view out on the right there's a pan around the room very nice room this is um 46 ounce shaw carpet with an eight pound pad underneath it nice cushy feel to that there are two walk-ins uh, his and hers right here we already provided the built-ins these are standard also have a shoe rack standard with uh, all our build outs in our mat in our closets and we put a plug in the back of the shoe rack for your cell phone chargers and whatever you might need to charge and this closet is a sister to that one and then we walk into the uh, master bath tile floor uh, linen closet immediately on the left uh, again built out with the shelves already done for you there and a very large vanity a nine foot vanity granite top uh, porcelain undermount sinks brush nickel Moen fixtures we put a full-size custom mirror in here and then also uh, put a large window at the top just to get natural light in here ladies like that a lot these are Marilot cabinets with brush nickel hardware that's the classic over on the right you have a fully uh, private bath right there your toilet excuse me a toilet your toilet area is right there and there's a door here so you can make that private and then looking around the master bath into the shower um, all of these floors by the way are heated floors including the shower uh, they're controlled right here on the wall and that's standard also this is a heated shower floor also this granite bench is also heated that's standard as well um, we got a lot of feedback that we'd like to have a big rain head in our showers so we put those in standard there's your big central rain head you have another shower head on this wall you have a couple of uh, uh, granite little shelves there both of them there's four shelves total two on each side then on this side we have a handheld stainless um, handheld shower head right there so you have three shower heads in here with a granite heated bench there's your master okay so I'll take you out of there and we'll take a look at the bedrooms um, bedrooms are uh, both bedrooms are on the opposite end of the house bedroom number one here is about 13 by 12 has a walk-in closet arch top door it is also built out with all of your hanging does come pre-wired for cable also bedroom number two is a little larger 13 by 14 uh, wired the same way two plugs per wall and a cable outlet over there by the way we soundproof these walls between bedrooms underneath the drywall that's all soundproofed here's your walk-in closet right there and it is built out you know just like the rest of them uh, okay the main bath uh, before you get in the bath this is another linen again it's all built out with shelves so that you can put uh, sheets and pillows and everything in there you have a tile floor you have a double vanity two porcelain undermount sinks, two Moen oil rub bronze fixtures, uh, your alabaster shade and oil rub bronze out there with a custom mirror. This uh, toilet and bath area has a door on it. So, so there can be two people getting ready uh, at the same time and have some degree of privacy. Uh, somebody using this space and then somebody else can be in here using the shower, which we tiled, uh, uh, custom tiled all of this shower and use the oil rub bronze fixtures. And then the toilet is around the corner there, right there. So you can have two people uh, using that quite comfortably. Okay, so we'll get you downstairs in the finished lower level and we'll be all done. Uh, this uh, staircase is a double staircase. We did put the oak um, extenders on each side so we could waterfall the carpet down the center. We do uh, the oak skirt board and trim standard, this handrail uh, standard. Uh, so this is the detail on the staircase that you can expect right there. That's all built out with oak trim and uh, pretty high level of detail. Okay, so here's your lower level. 
And we're switching gears here down here to Nantucket Dune on the walls with Roman column white. Chair rail and shadow boxes throughout, crown molding throughout. This is a walkout lower level. It's about uh, 40 feet long by about 38 feet wide. Pretty large space. Here's your bar. Um, bar has uh, three bar stools on this end, two pendant lights. Then on this side you can run another five bar stools there. It has two pendant lights up. These are uh, Maple Marillot uh, classic cabinets also. We have a San Cecilia granite here. Oil rub bronze hardware and a wine rack up there on the top just above the stainless sink. Moen fixture there with a pull out. And this is a tile floor made to look like a wood floor. Very, very cool. It's a hand scraped look. We also mount, uh, wire it for a TV right here so anybody in the entertaining area, the card table area, the bar area can see the TV from there. It's mounted right up high right there. Um, I pulled a crown molding there and did uh, rope lighting in the crown. And then this is all Berber carpet down here with uh, eight pound pad underneath it. Pre-wired it for a home theater and, or a big screen right there. Also box out all the columns with uh, high level of detailed trim. Uh, we'll take you into the bedroom now. This is the fourth bedroom. It's here on the right. Fourth bedroom here. Uh, this one is about, uh, oh, it's about 12 by 18. It does have an egress window and a full double closet with locker in there. Two surface mount lights. And then we have a full bath right here at the end of the hall for, the, uh, for that uh, bedroom. This is a standard three-piece uh, bath. There's a tile floor. Um, we have a granite top, porcelain sink, Marillac cabinets, full fiberglass shower. And then here's your mechanical room. Again, we do soundproof all our living space, uh, our bedroom space against all other space. That's what you're seeing there. This is an Amana Distinctions uh, heating system. This CD system has two zones, two thermostats, one for each floor, separate supply lines for each floor, separate ducted cold air return. All of this is done so that you have total comfort control between floors. We use April Air humidifiers, 36% humidity. These are Amana Distinctions. These are 96.1% efficient. And there's the controller for your dual zone heating system right there. Costs a little more, but it's far more comfortable. Now here's the best part about the house. This is the superior wall system. Um, this is a high strength, high density, concrete precast wall, which has a inset um, of high density foam insulation in it. It comes to uh, rates out at R13 right from the factory. The studs are precast into the profile of the wall. There is no way you can have a wet basement using Superior because it sits on a 48 inch wide limestone footing which we build right into it. Combining that with a pre-engineered floor with TGI eye joists, you don't get any deflection in your floors that way and your house is very square, very stable and they tell, uh, when, when, when my framers come to frame the house and put the deck on, you can put your eye across the top of that superior wall and it looks just as flat as a pool table. It's one of the most accurate and strong wall systems made. So that's your mechanical room. I'm going to show you the storage room and that'll be it. And the cellar. This storage room is about 15 by 20. It does come with a, uh, a water system. Uh, we test all the water. We put an appropriate softener in with it. 200 amp power panel with extra breakers. Uh, this is your ejector crock. And this is really cool. This is your wine cellar or safe room, which is under the front porch. Uh, we get this because we use superior walls. We excavate it so that we can do it this way. There is four inches of concrete above, below, and on all sides. And, the, and what you're seeing here is the smoothness and, and waterproofness of the superior wall. That's all the way it comes just from the factory. Incredible system. And we do insulate the steel deck so you never get condensation up there. Well, that's it. I hope that tour has been helpful. Please call Steve and uh, come visit us. We have uh, two of these evergreens for sale right now. And we do have another model called the Woodland, which is a split ranch and a four-car garage that we are building in here. Hope to see you soon. Thanks so much.